morning tea. I just got my morning bag and I get ready in a minute and maybe this for a walk. That's a good to wake up. I only just walk at tennis. It's been nice for my morning. Dive my head up a bit. It's fun. Um, I'm gonna get ready and go out. And by that, I go to ask them if you need a step away from me. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. Let's get ready for the day. I'm gonna start with my video makeup because I look horrible. I told them no next time. I can actually talk. Um, apparently the doctor's gonna say it's been eight months I couldn't be end discharged. Um originally I was gonna tell Asda, but apparently not. And I've got a wait and see it. But I don't know, it just seems to have flipped. I'm really happy today, I can do a million things at once. I bought a new notebook yesterday and I'm planning on sending it into like a little plan I think because I know I have to do all the time because I'm like always racing around not knowing what I'm doing and I think if I have something that's like written I might like, actually know what I'm doing all the time rather than just chaotically doing everything. I don't know. I bought it yesterday. I'm thinking about a spray as well. It makes me really unhappy. I've had no caffeine for ages, I've got a bottle of coke and I don't want to drink it because I know if I have caffeine I'll be even more hyper. I always hate like the aftertaste of like friggin toothpaste, it's flipping horrible. Cause like I actually have, I have some pillows at the moment, like I can't eat any of like my, I got these yesterday and I'm, I can't eat them, so I just taste mint and it's flipping horrible. The thing that scares me about the possibility of this charge is the fact that my mood is so much like, so much so like rapidly changing. Like one minute I'm happy, the next I'm crying. Last night I was so happy, so hyped, so everything and then I clashed and had my medication and two milligrams of lorazepam an hour later and it, I, I just clashed emotionally and today I'm really off and tonight we're the same. Being here, I feel safer at home. I don't know what's gonna happen. That's what scares me. That is what scares me the most. I'll tell you what I'm terrified about, right? I'm terrified that they're gonna discharge me because I don't feel stable. I don't feel stable in myself. I feel like I keep going up, down, up, down, up, down. I have all this energy, and it's weird. I'm not normally like this. And I reckon they're going to see it as, oh, she's happy, let's discharge her. And I'm terrified because I'm fine at the moment, but when my mood flips, it's the exact opposite. And that, when stuff like that happens, that's when things get dangerous. And he yeah, I can't do it. And I can get help at home. I can't. Which is what scares me. I kind of feel stable. And I reckon they're going to say that in the meeting. Like, apparently I'm seeing a doctor to do that. I wanted to go to Asda and get food because I'm hungry, but apparently I can't do that. I really think they're going to try and discharge me today. Because apparently the home treatment team are here to see me. Um, I'm terrified. Because I know my mood's going to flip. Right now, yeah, I'm happy, cheery, whatever, bubbly, bouncy, I can do anything. Tonight, I'll be the opposite. And here, I feel like at home. I don't know. They're fucking discharging me? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So I've gone out got a, I'm trying to stop my anxiety medication too, again, which is fucking ridiculous. I honestly don't know how anyone can see this going well. It could be a little mean to get this drunk, but me, I'm just like, I'm going to fucking crash tonight. Then what the fuck will I do? I just don't get it. Maybe I'm stupid, but I told them I don't feel safe. I told them that I, don't, I feel out of trouble. 
fucking display there. It's not hot, isn't it? I believe that I need impatient support, but there's no way in hell I can get it on the NHS. Where, where you My big issue with being discharged is how my mood is. Like, I feel like my mood flips, it goes from this to. Ah. No, 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 it's your GB. I'm waiting for my meds and then I can go and then I'll be happy. Like, they were, I didn't, I didn't end up going to give them come out of the I'm just like, no, 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 fuck. Like, it doesn't make sense. I don't want people to take this the wrong way, right? With what I'm saying. But, like, yeah, I'm happy to go at home or whatever. Yeah, I really want to be at home. But, I feel fucking unstable. Like, my mood is just, more changeable than it's ever been and like new levels like high and low and it's, I don't get it and you guys have seen the vlogs, you've seen what I've been like you know what I've been like will you discharge me? I don't fucking know I packed the bowl of my stuff in the door my three anchors and I've got some stuff in the office but I don't have that much in there I don't think I guess the message in this is I got discharged. We'll go with that. And I got discharged. So, my honest opinion, um, I got discharged too early. Um, but, Mr. Woods, I'm not gonna stay on this place. I'm going to my phone and I'm going to